Hi YouTube. What's up YouTube? Um, right now it's about 10:27, and we've just watched the verdict on the George Zimmerman case, and I just cannot explain the way I feel right now. Um, I'm upset. I'm hurt. I'm disappointed. I'm sad. Uh, Florida to me, their judicial system. <laughs> Oh, no, no. I'm sorry, their judicial system sucks. It's horrible. There should be no way he should walk. Um, I think murder two was a little bit much, but I think manslaughter would have been good because he took a life. And I just do not see how a jury of six women, four of them mothers, could find this man not guilty on all charges that is crazy to me. I just I just I can't even explain how I feel I'm shocked like I've never been so disappointed in our justice system like I never, never, never in a million years would have thought that he would have just walked and got off with nothing. Um, to me, it goes back to Casey Anthony. That, along with this, shows me that Florida, where are their minds? I just, it's crazy. That's all I can really say is it's crazy. I'm in a state of shock. Like, we're still watching it, and we're still watching everyone and how um, a black dad and a white mom had their mixed son, and he was dressed like Trayvon. They went to the same 7-Eleven that he went to. Um, he purchased the Arizona tea and some Skittles, and he came there to see the justice system at its best, and... It was not there. It was not at its best tonight. And I just... I just cannot believe that he was found not guilty. Like, he got to walk tonight. And even if he was put in jail on the charge of manslaughter and did 10 to 30 years, his family was still able to go see him. They were still able to communicate with him. He may have not been in the house with them, but they know where he was. And here we have a 17-year-old boy, and he's dead. His family doesn't have him anymore. And I think it was total disregard for his life. I don't think they looked at it in the way that they should have because... He was a child, and me, myself, I know that if somebody's following me and I feel the need to run, and I run, if he come behind me, I'm going to do everything in my power to beat his ass, just like he did George Zimmerman, because, I mean, why are you following me? That's number one. Why are you following me? If he would have did what he was asked to do but not follow him and stay and wait on the police, then... This would have never happened. Not just, I just don't see where the justice system was right or where they, it was, it was no justice shown tonight. No, it's horrible. It's, it's crazy. It really is. It, we have to step up, like, especially black people. We really have to step up because this shows that it's it's no love shown. If this was a little white boy and a black man, if George Zimmerman was black, Trayvon Martin was white, it would have never went like this. Period. Like I believe that with all my heart, and I'm not even looking at the case in a racial from a racial standpoint. I'm just I just know that that's what it would have been like. It, this would have never happened. It would have been an open and shut case, especially with all the evidence. How Trayvon Martin stopped screaming, screaming immediately after the shot was taken. Um, and 
they still looking at it like it was George Zimmerman. Why would you stop screaming as soon as the shot is taken? If you're not the one shot. It, it, it's a lot of stuff that just don't make no sense, but it rides. And we got to step it up. We got to come together as a people. This is it's really sad. And I just, I keep looking at the TV, guys, because it's still on. And it's still like, they're still talking about him being not guilty and why it was okay. Basically, not okay, but why he was found not guilty and how people felt like he was going to be found not guilty. Um, I really felt that this was going to be an open and shut case. Like, I really thought that they were going to, like... I didn't think they were going to have to go through all of this. And being that they did go through all of this, I didn't think it was going to take that long for them to deliberate the verdict. I thought that was going to be quick. It was not. Um, which made me feel even more like it's probably one person that feels that he shouldn't be charged. And I feel now that it was one person that felt like he should have been charged and the other four or five thinking that he shouldn't and that's why they were there so long but I just don't I don't feel like it's right my heart and my prayers goes out to his family especially his mother um I salute his father because being a black man or being a man period in this situation um, I feel like he did very good. He sat there. He looked at George Zimmerman every day. Looked at videos of what happened, or just videos on TV of people talking. Looked at pictures of his son lying dead. Uh, the shirt, the pants, the the hoodie, what he had on. They're seeing that. They're seeing the blood stains. They're showing pictures of the bullet wound. That's their son's body that they're being seen and I salute the dad because me being me in my shoes I don't think I would have been able to do it I think I would have been out to to hurt him but he fell back and he let the justice system what he thought was gonna prevail and it didn't so I salute him for his strength to even do that because I don't think I would have been able to do it. I just it's it's just crazy. This it's really crazy guys. It's a sad day in the USA. <laughs> it really is. It's like it's, it's bad. And justice is not served at all. And I feel, I kind of feel bad for George Zimmerman because he's been receiving death threats since the beginning. I can only imagine what's going to happen now. Um, his lawyers, they have been receiving threats. I think it was an expert witness who's a medical examiner. He's been receiving death threats for saying that he feels as, as if George Zimmerman should be acquitted so I just I would rather have done 10 years <laughs> me personally like I, I mean I feel as if like this is really scaring him but I don't feel as if he should be able to walk regardless of how it was even if they didn't convict him on murder two he took a life that he cannot give back that cannot be replaced he took a life and stand your ground people hide behind that but this goes to show that things are not equal it's 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 not I don't know if any guys anybody seen the case of the black woman who fired um, warning shots to her husband who was abusive and was beating her and she had um, protective orders out on him and they charged her with attempted murder. And because she did not take the three-year plea that they were giving her because she felt like she didn't do anything wrong, they gave her 20 years. Um, her husband did not die. 
he's still alive. She didn't take his life. Here we have George Zimmerman who took a life and he's home free. He's walking. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, So, um, I think that's all we really wanted to hit on. We were actually going to make another video on our TTCN. Um, we were going to talk about that tonight, but, uh, we were going to throw this in, but we thought that we were going to have a victory instead of a defeat. So, um, anything else you want to say? Other than this is bad. <laughs> I'm I'm just I'm in total awe. Like I looked at the TV with my mouth open for like ten minutes because I I never would have thought that this I didn't think that this could happen. Even though I knew it was a possibility in my mind, I'm thinking it's really not a possibility. Like he's gonna get at least some time. But this man walking out the courthouse, he's it's just nothing. It's nothing, and it's it's sad. My heart, it's my sympathy, go out to the family. Um, I just feel so sorry for his family. I have a brother, and I know my brother looks. He looks intimidating. He's big. He's dark. So you know, he looks intimidating, but he's a big teddy bear. And I, if I think about it as if it was my brother in that situation. And I'm trying to explain to people well, he's not like that. He's, you know, he's a teddy bear, and then they bring up stuff like, well, he smoke weed and stuff like that. Like that still doesn't tell about his character. And if that was to happen to my brother, I just, I don't know what I would do. And it's like, it's it's sad. It really is. It's sad. They relied on the justice system and they got nothing. They got nothing in return. And he, he walked. Bad. <laughs> that's, that's like all, all I can say. say. It's yeah, okay. all I can say. Like it's, it's, it's bad in so many different ways, on so many different levels. It proves that it's his dad just tweeted, God bless me and Sabrina with Trey, and even in his death, I know my baby proud of the fight we had along Oh God, they switched it, I'm sorry. He's thanking everybody also. Um he was thanking everybody for being there and standing to put up the fight to make sure this doesn't happen again. These are tweets that his dad is putting out. He says, even though I am broken hearted, my faith is unshattered. I will always love my baby Trey. That's just... That's horrible. Um, They did fight. They did put up a good fight. They did. Um, I just pray for them. Um, I pray for George Zimmerman also. I pray for his soul. Um, he's gonna karma is gonna come back around. Um, God must have something, something else planned for him. So, I mean, we can't do anything about it. So, I mean, it is what it is. Um, give us some feedback. Tell us how you feel about this situation. Let us know what else, what's on your mind. Anything else you want to say? Well, guys, I guess we'll be back. We'll talk to you guys later. Good night. Good night.